Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Sasha and I am a cash stuffer. So I am paid bi-weekly, I work out my entire paycheck budget and then I cash stuff those amounts. So I do not cash stuff my bills or my debt. I immediately put that money aside to cover those expenses and then I withdraw the difference from my paycheck and it goes towards my variable expenses, any of my savings challenges, as well as my sinking funds. So those are the binders we are gonna be cash stuffing today. So to start, um, we are going to count my cash here and just make sure that I have the right amount. But before I do that, I will just mention, I worked out my budget and then once that was done, I knew which categories I was cash stuffing and the amounts. And I broke down the bill denominations that I will require to cash stuff today. So I know exactly how many fives I need, tens, twenties, etc. So let's add this up. $1,065 today, actually $1,068. This $3 was change left over from my last um, pay period. I did already put some of the money that I had left over towards some savings challenges, but I intentionally kept this $3 aside so that I can include it in my 100 envelope savings challenge today. All right, so let's dive in. I'm going to start off first by cash stuffing my variable expense binder. So these are items that I pull from on the daily, whereas my other binders are more like savings for when I make bigger purchases down the road, um, as well as my sinking funds. Okay, so groceries, I do um, just put in 125 here. Now this is for myself for a two week period. Um, I know it's not a lot, but to be totally honest, I'm not cooking big elaborate meals. I'm quite happy eating, honestly, like breakfast for dinner. So <laughs> I'm not the healthiest person in the world right now. Um, I'm staying on a super tight budget and 125 is just fine. My parents are also neighbors, so they have me over occasionally. I probably have a meal or two there a week, so I'm not starving. <laughs> Anyways, um, my dog, Hank, will be getting $20 today. Gas will be getting $80, which I have a super economical little vehicle. My commute is incredibly short. It's seven minutes to work at the most, and all the shopping I need and everything is just as close. So $80. Eating out will be getting $50. I really don't have the time right now to be going out and having meals with friends or at least not that often um, so $50 does a trick that will cover me if I want to go grab a coffee to go or if I want to have a cheat meal and go to McDonald's um, I know $50 isn't a lot for dining out so but again I'm trying really hard right now to get rid of my debt so but I also don't feel that you should take away little luxuries um, so $50 my fun envelope, I will be putting $20 in here. As you can see, it's completely depleted as I took the money out to cover the expenses I had over the weekend when I went to Bellingham. Um, I went shopping with my mom. We spent the night down there. It was a lot of fun. It was honestly, I think it was the first night away um, that I had pre-pandemic. Actually, I take that back. I did have one night away last November in a hotel and it was only because I had surgery early the next morning and to get to the hospital where the surgery was, um, I have to take a ferry to get there. So I don't think that counts. So I'm gonna say this past weekend was my first weekend away pre-pandemic. Anyways, household will be getting, um, let's see here, it's getting $10 today, which brings me to 30. Okay. Now we are moving on here. I'm going to be doing my, uh, my sinking funds. So self-care is a savings challenge I am doing right now. I am going to be adding $15. So as you can see here on my tracker, each little um, symbol has a different dollar value assigned to it. So I'm gonna be doing 15 today. And I will color that all in later. 
Oh, and I should mention when I am done this tracker, I will have $250 saved. I'm not sure what I'm going to put this towards yet, but it's going to be something for myself. Mattress, I am saving up right now for a new mattress. I want a really good quality mattress. Um, so today I am adding $40 to the envelope. This here is my place card holder. It represents that I currently have $500 sitting in the bank. So we've got five, six, seven, eight, 20, 40, 60, 80, 9, 20 so far. Once I get to like $1,100, $1, I'm going to figure out the exact mattress I'm going to be purchasing. Uh, mattresses aren't cheap here and I want good quality. So we're saving up. Bedroom overhaul, I'm going to be adding I'm gonna be adding $20 today. So we've got two, 20, 40, 65, 70. And this will just be to replace some furniture in my bedroom when I do purchase a new mattress. Costco, I'm just adding a little bit to today. Costco is getting $10. Um, it's quite a trip for me to get to Costco, so I like to just add a little bit each pay period, and then when I do go, I do a nice haul, and I really just buy essentials there, like laundry detergent, paper towels, toilet paper. Um, so I, I find the food, buying it in bulk there for one person is just a little bit silly. So anyways, one fifty-five. My emergency uh, fund envelope, it is fully funded for now. There is $1,000 in the bank. Um, I realize $1,000 isn't a lot to cover too many emergencies, but right now my main priority is to get rid of my debt. So that will do for now. Once my debt is gone, I'm going to beef that envelope up. Gifts I am adding to today. It will be getting $30. So that brings me to $135. Okay, medical I'm not adding to. Um, I feel I have enough in there to cover any anything I need right now. I don't have any prescriptions or anything, and for the most part, medical is free for us in Canada. Clothing I'm also not going to be adding to today. And then beauty I'm also not adding to. Okay, all right, so my vacation savings fund. I took some money out of here, so we are going to fix this here. Okay. So I've got $500 in the bank, so that isn't accounted for in here, but I did take some money out to cover my expenses um, in Bellingham this past weekend. So I have $300 here, so I'm gonna have to clean this up a bit. So let me just wipe that away. Okay, so I just like to use like a cotton pad and rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna tidy that up. So I've got $300, so I should have, whoops. 12 symbols shaded in, so 5, 10, 11, 12. So I'm just going to wipe away these other ones here. See how easy that wipes clean? It's awesome. Okay, there we go. So each symbol is worth $25. Fix that. And I said I was adding, let's see here, $25 today. So I get to shave one of these in. So I have 825 saved up now. Okay, and Christmas I'm adding $40 to today. I'm gonna shave that in later. So I have a total of 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 260 so far and my end goal is 600 so it's coming along and my five dollar challenge i'm adding five dollars to and again i'll shade that in later my ten dollar challenge i have no more tens oops here let's do a swap The ATM didn't have, I, anyways, I couldn't get all the tens I needed. So there we go. <laughs> and then I already filled this in with the change that I had left over from last pay period. And that's my coin savings challenge. 
Okay, so moving on now, I've got a few more savings challenges that we get to do together. I have my 100 envelope savings challenge. So in this binder here, there's 100 little pockets. Each um, dollar, or I guess it's not, there's no dollar sign, but each um, number on here represents the dollar amount that you put into the pocket. And then on this front page here, we have a tracker. So there's 100 pockets. When all 100 pockets have been filled, I will have a savings of $5,050. So today I'm going to be, let's do this randomly. Um, okay, well, I decided that I can only put 133 towards this challenge today. Oops. I forgot my rent envelope. So I, um, I do cash stuff my rent and I divide it up over the paychecks um, during the month. So I'm setting aside 375 for rent. Okay. How could I forget that? <laughs> um, so I've got a 50 here. Why don't we do 72 today? And then we're going to do 61. And I'll shade that in after. And then the last savings challenge I have here is my 52 week savings challenge. There's 52 envelopes. I like to fill one a week, but because I'm paid bi-weekly, I fill two every single pay period. I did not organize myself before filming. <laughs> okay. So what am I left with here? We've got 40, 5, 50, 5, 60. Okay, so $60 to put towards this. Why don't we do, well, look at that, the 20 and the 40. So when I'm done this savings challenge at the end of the year, I will have $2,023 saved. And I'm going to be putting that towards a trip. I believe I'm going to be going to Disneyland next year. So that will be fun. Yeah, so that wraps up my paycheck um, and how I cash stuff every pay period. The amounts do differ. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow along. Thanks, everybody. Bye.